Hello? I guess you don't take the card on the tenor, right? What do you want? Nice to see you too. I don't know. To check up on you. You came here to check up on me. I'm worried about you. You look tired. Stop, okay? What, what do you really want? The final part of Paranoia starts today. Get out. I'm serious. We only one ever short of entering the game. Only one puzzle left to solve. Get out of here. I'm sure you can solve it. No one's ever been as far as you in paranoia. No, I don't give a shit. Do you understand? It's all over, Chloe. Are you listening to me? It all begins today. No, you listen to me. I haven't seen your face in months. And the first thing you want to do is come in here and talk to me about this bullshit. We spent a year, 24-7, sitting in front of our computers, searching for a lead for nothing. You're not interested in a million euro prize anymore? I don't want to go back to that place. It destroyed us. You know, that's not what destroyed us.
just think of what the two of us could do with the manuals. The two of us? I read an article in the paper about two black swans that disappeared from the zoo in Manchester. Two black swans. That's the emblem of paranoia. That's just a coincidence. Except that the zoo never had any black swans. I checked it out. That's weird. I wrote to the zoo. I got a message back. 24, be careful. 24, be careful. That must be a code. Okay, two numbers, two words. Could I the zip code? So let's just assume A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, D equals 4. And you get 24, G equals BD. Let's it be careful. The first letter of each word, so B and C, which is 23. So you get BD 23. There you go, the homepage of Skipton City. Zip code BD23. Preservation of our ecosystem. Protection of the black swan. This is it. A year on the road brings us back to the same place as always. We'll be there tonight until midnight. What does it mean? A year on the road brings us back. Type in zero one into the first box. Brings us back to the same place. As always, try the infinity symbol. We'll be there tonight until midnight. Type today's date, 0811. It's not working. Okay, go back. You on the road. Zero 01 again. Let's try zero zero. Instead of the infinity, zero eight. You got it, a Raven Skipton. You're genius. Mm -hmm. Let's find it. Please, may I ask you something? Yeah. You're not going to like what I'm about to tell you. But, um, I'm going to go for a ride with Chloe tonight, if that's okay. I know what you're thinking, that, that she's hurt me too much and Please, can you just forgive me for still being in love with her? Sorry. I'm gonna have to clean my car one of these days. You can put that in the bag if you want. No rave in sight so far. There, over there, I can see it. I don't get it. If we're on Paranoia's playground, who's running the show? Like, who's paying for this? And who are all these people? 
Like, are they real partiers or, or are they part of the game? Naomi's here. I'm guessing she's still in the game then. More than ever. But if she's here, that means we're on the right track. Come on, let's find Paranoia's entrance before she does. Can you hear that? What? The music of Swan Lake. That's techno. No, 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 no. It's, it's in the distance. It's, it's further. Come on. Joystick. How are we supposed to play against each other? Then we play against the computer. Uh, do you want to go first? No thanks. going now. Okay, those are GPS coordinates. Let me check. Got it. There's paranoia. Looks like it.
They're waiting for you. There's cameras everywhere. It's normal, they have to monitor the game. Hmm? Sorry guys, we started without you. Welcome anyway. I'm Ray. I'm Maxine. Jablowski. I'm Chloe. So you're back in the game? I haven't seen you online for a while. Welcome to Paranoia, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, we wish to congratulate you. Of the thousands of hopefuls, only you made it all the way here. This competition was created for you. It will push your abilities to the limit. It will exploit your weaknesses and test you like never before. This hospital is your playground. Its furthermost recesses, its darkest corners, are yours for the entire duration of the game. You're about to play a gigantic escape game. You'll need to solve puzzles to get out of each room and move on to the next level. Every time you exit a room, you will be given a piece of the puzzle. You've already found the first piece on the table, it seems. Once complete, the puzzle will reveal the combination to the exit of the hospital. You have been divided into teams of two. The first team to exit the hospital wins the million euro prize. Be aware that you will not be allowed to leave the game once it has begun. Finally, does anyone among you want to give up and leave now? This is your last chance. can see you are all isolated to start the game. Now you must find your teammate to stay in the game. Three, two, one, go! <laughs>
Chloe? Chloe, can you hear me? Lucas? Lucas, how can you hear you? Look, there, there's a vent connecting our two rooms. Can you see it? Yeah, I see it. I found a key, but it doesn't open any locks. Does it fit the door? It doesn't have a lock. Does it have a metal plate on it too? No, not even. How am I supposed to open this fucking door? Okay, right. Chloe, I've got it, okay? If you can't open it, then it has to be me. So what I need you to do is throw the key down, is that okay? for room seven. Is this place? Okay, so I mean, I'm guessing we have to exit back through this door, and there's a keypad here, so we need to find some sort of code. Do you think we have to put this thing on? Okay, okay, I'll do it. Are you sure? Yeah. Come on, don't be a pussy. Help me into it. Okay. Okay, now look around. It must be a riddle that we have to solve. Okay, no, 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 I don't like this at all, Chloe. That's fucking. Don't move. We need to get out of here now. What do we do if I can't get you out in time? Don't come. Find the riddle. Hurry! Okay. It looks like a puzzle, so I think. Some of the pieces are black on the back, so I'm going to have to make some sort of pattern here. Um, here we go. I don't understand. Look, you can see the swan here, Claire. But well, you must be doing something wrong. No, I, I can't, Claire. I give up. I give up. It's too dangerous. No, 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 no. Okay, Claire, I'm just going to try to untie you, okay? No. Finish the swan. Finish the swan. Trust me. I can see something. Keep doing it. Are you out of your fucking mind, Chloe? Lucas, one minute left. Make the fucking swan. I can see numbers. I can see numbers. 
I need the blades to come closer to me to read them. We need to find the missing number. Lucas, 10 seconds left! Uh, 5 times 6 is 30. Okay, I've got it, I've got it. So, 5 times 6 is 30, 3 times 7 is 21. So, what we've got here, we've got um, 5, 30, 6, 3, 21, 7. Okay, got it. Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Now look for room 11. Let's go. Chloe. Come on. Chloe, can't you see that there's something seriously wrong with this place? Chloe! Are you listening to me? Try another room. Maybe we can get into the game from there. Can you hear that? No, it's coming from this way. Continues here. I don't know. Let's look for clues. And let's not waste any time. I don't want the others to destroy us. Okay, let's take a look at the bookshelf over there. Do you know your classical music? Uh, a little bit. You? No. There's a padlock here. There's a Swan Lake score on every shelf. So there's three shelves, and that bottom locks three digits, right? Yeah. Okay, so the first shelf is fourth position. Four. The second shelf is seventh position. Seven. And the third shelf is ninth position. Nine. It's not working. Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. There is a score marked 479. Chopin Bugs in G minor. What the hell are they trying to kill us here or what? Oh my god. Harry. Let's look for an Irish composer. Why Irish? Because Ireland's missing on that map. Okay. Um, Albert Kettleby. English. Guillermont Drizdo. Scottish. Oh my god. Oh, there's a book here. Uh, the Perlon Letter, uh, Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, he's Irish, right? No, he's American. <gasps> Okay, Chloe, Chloe, we need to find an exit now. We need to go. Okay, this one, this one, this one. Uh, Brief Deliran. You know this composer? No. Uh, when, uh, uh, Deliran. Deliran is an anagram for island. And Brief? What is Brief? Double high note. 
So it's in it's in the score. Okay, okay. let me check the pages. Okay, page four is six briefs. Page six. Page seven is three briefs. Three. And page nine is eight briefs. Six, three, eight. It's working, it's working. It's going to take us ages to go. Come down, Lucas. How can I become? The room's on fire. Then solve the riddle. What riddle, Chloe? I don't even know if it's part of it. Maybe we're stuck in here. I got it, I got it. El Renacimiento de la Musica Clásica Irlandesa. How is your Spanish? Pianist? Where does he go? Lucas. My Spanish is terrible of yours. Same. What do we do then? I don't know. You the fucking whisk kid. You find it. You get us out of here. Um, the following letter. What? The following letter. Oh. Uh. Did you find out where to finish the piano piece? Well, as, as Poe said in the, the Pologne letter, you know, the best place to hide the treasure is the most conspicuous place because people won't think to search there. It's too obvious, you know, so they're looking for more intricate leads. So islands and all the other places are just false leads. And the most conspicuous thing was the piano. Of course. What did the papers say? We are equal in the face of it. The law. Death. Don't tell me this is what I think it is. What the fuck? The keypad. The keypad is more complicated this time. Digits from zero to nine and letters from A to F. Seems like a normal deck. I mean, I think all the cards are here. So that's one, two, three. <gasps> what? Oh my what? God. Oh, what? What? <sighs> calm down. Okay, calm down. It's okay. Could just be a false one. It's okay. Is that part of the game? It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. What is this fucking place? Okay, go and get the tables. Get the tables. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, hold the 
Where do we go now? He's still after us, it's fucking free! Go, 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 go! How do we get out? And this way, this way, this way! Our memory skills improve when we understand that every mistake we make results in punishment. Like when your parents spanked you when you were wrong, you're about to experience it. Please just leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Just like this. We will measure the extent to which punishment can affect memory. I will give you a series of 11 word pairs. A noun, followed by an adjective. Then I will give you the adjective, and you will tell me the noun it refers to. We will repeat the process 10 times in total. Every mistake will be punished. A minimum of five correct answers will set you free. What if I don't give five correct answers? Mind. Sick. Corpse. Cold. Cross. Black. Dungeon. Dark. Mother. Mystery. Circle. Colored. Treasure. Buried. Soul. Flying. Presence, absent, wind, violent, murderer, innocent. Dark. Dungeon. Correct. Next word, flying. Sky. Wrong. <laughs> Mystery. I repeat, mystery. Circle. 
Correct. Next word. Violent. Wrong. <laughs> It seems like you have a materialistic streak. But I have some good news. The shocks will keep getting stronger. Next word. <laughs> cold. I don't know. Wrong. Word, sick. Take your time to make sure you give me the correct answer. Concentrate. Your voice sounds familiar. Wrong. You only have three questions left. This is your last chance. As you've already given five incorrect answers, you have no room for error now. Next word, murderer. Guilty. Finish him off.
hates me. Shouldn't have never said yes this morning. We wouldn't have won the raid. We wouldn't be locked up in fucking nut house. Okay. Why didn't you tell me that you spent time in a psychiatric hospital? I didn't want you to think I was crazy. Someone would hang crosses on my door every day for months, every single day. I never found out who he was. And then it got to me. And I fell into depression and ended up in a mental hospital. When I came out, the crosses reappeared. So I moved out. Things have been pretty hectic for me since we broke up, you know? Since you broke up, you mean? You forced me to break up. How come you never told me about how your mother died? I was 16 and um, she was killed by burglars. Yeah, I was at a party and I got so drunk that I came home and I passed out and I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear them coming in. I didn't hear them killing my mother. Nothing. And she must have cried for help, you know. She must have thought that I was going to come around the corner and that I was going to save her. I just feel so guilty. And they, they were searching for something in the basement. I don't, I don't know what it was, but it must have been something important, you know, to her. But I never went to the basement. I always wanted to go down into the basement, you know. I never did, because I just... I felt like I was betraying her. Lucas. Lucas. Sorry. She a patient here. It's written on her file. Dangerous patient. She looks like 16 or 17 now. It must have been ages ago. Look what's written. Keep away from sharp objects. Pens, keys, screwdriver. Maxine had a screwdriver stuck in her throat, remember? She was probably committed here when she was a teenager for all the issues, but now she wants revenge from all the years she was locked up. And she wants to take out innocent gamers. No, I don't believe that. I'm serious, Lucas. I'm sure it's her. Okay, look, we, we need to get one more piece and then we've completed the puzzle. Come on, let's take this, let's go.
You will now ascend into heaven. You will now ascend into heaven. You will now ascend into heaven. He was right there in front of us the whole time. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think that's coming towards us. I think that's going away. Jaborski! Is Naomi not with you? No, she disappeared a while ago. Did you guys see what happened to Maxine? Yeah. And um, Ray got killed too. What? When was the last time you saw Naomi? She opened the door after we saw the riddle and walked out. When I went out after her, she was gone. Was it before or after what happened to Maxine? Before. I wasn't with her anymore when I found Maxine's body. Did you know Naomi before you came here? Why all these questions? Because she was a patient here 10 years ago. You're kidding me? No. What's that all about? It's about a psycho killing escape gamers with a <sighs> screwdriver. Oh, hang on, maybe she's dead too by now, you know? That's just how the game goes. The game? This isn't about game anymore, do you not understand? This is about a fucking killer chasing us down hallways. The game is still on, and we are opponents. What? That doesn't make sense, Jabrowski. We're stronger as a team, surely? You will now ascend into heaven. What would that mean? I don't know. Maybe the next level is taking us outside in the daylight. Mm, yeah, it's clever, but no, it's just it's too religious. Religious? A chapel. Maybe there's a chapel in the hospital. Yeah, I, I still don't understand why that door opened earlier after I executed the nurse. Because if they're not testing my intelligence, then I... What are they testing? Your ability to kill. Look at that painting. It looks like the one in your living room. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It looks like my mother's favorite. It's weird. How come a painting painted by a patient in a mental hospital ended up in your house? I have no idea. Turn back now. Let's just go quietly, okay? Just go through there. I just want to keep going through, okay? That's all. We're not going to make any sudden movement. We just want to keep going. That's it. Why the bars? We're not going to hurt you, I promise. Why are you carrying bars then? Because we need to know that you don't want to hurt us either. Okay? Why is everyone scared of me? It's always been like that since I was little. Naomi, you know that somebody's been killed in the game, right? I know. I saw the bodies, too. Where were you when the murders happened? I don't know. Okay, Naomi, I need you to take that out of your pocket now. Slowly, 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 and just put this on the floor. 
Very slowly. Very slowly. Someone put it in my pocket. Why would you do that, Naomi? Chloe, don't. I always knew you were a weirdo, but that... Don't, Chloe. So you've been playing paranoia from your hospital room all the time? Naomi! Stay away from me! You two! Calm down. You fucking back off! You're trying to make me think I'm fucking crazy. I'm not. You're trying to use my frailty to make me believe I did it without even being aware of it. Calm <laughs> down. But it won't work. I know what I did and didn't do. Okay. So, how did I kill them? Hmm? Asleep? <laughs> you motherfuckers. You use the word crazy, but you don't have a clue what it means. They've been messing with my head since I was a teenager. They want me to think I'm fucking crazy. But I'm so tired of all this shit. I'm so tired of you trying to force your vision of reality on me. Just, just leave me alone, okay? Just, just leave me alone. I'm not like all of them, okay? I'm not like all of them, I promise. Look, I put it down, okay? You can trust me, okay, Chloe? Drop the bar. Okay, you can trust me, Chloe. Put the bar down. Chloe, drop it, okay? What's the point of living if you can't trust what you say? <laughs> Why did you do that? What did I do what? Well, I had the situation under control. You made her panic. Are you serious? She was a psychopath. You thought she would put the screwdriver down just because you asked her to? She was going to put it down. You're so naive. Three piles of dust right there. You smart asses, it's a triangle. It's the Trinity. Thirty-three are dog -eared. Always the number three. The sacrifice of one's own.
fucking assholes! gonna do to me. Hey, why are you covered in blood? Hey? I tried to save him. He was still breathing when I got here.
Hey, what's happened? The killer. Hey? He grabbed me before I could call you for help. But why did you disappear? But I managed to escape. Okay. Okay, come on. Let's go, okay? Let's get out of here. Just the two of us now. Find a way out of here, Clay, haven't we? Because there's still a killer on the loose, isn't there? No prize will be ours. Chloe, isn't there? Clay. Terror cards often hide biblical symbols. Well, this one's kind of biblical. No, this one has a bit of a biblical reference. There's seven branches here, even the space. You know, like the seven rungs of Jacob's ladder? Okay. Like the um, seven degrees of initiation, you know? You know, connected man from earth to heaven or hell. Do you see Jacob anywhere? That's Jacob. Don't you see what's waiting for us at the top? Chloe! No, 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 no. Ah! Lucas, I'm cold. Christ's sake, what? Okay. 
Uh, what? Lucas. 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 Please forgive me. No, no, stay with me. This place made me lose my mind. Okay, 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 stay, stay with me. No, you go. Now you're ready to face life. I love you, sweetheart. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, face you fucking coward. Come on, what are you waiting for? of a monster you really are. Look at what you're capable of. I've been hiding the truth from you for years now. It's time for you to take responsibility for your actions. You created paranoia to lure Chloe into your trap. She's been avoiding you for years now. Since she dumped you, actually. <laughs> you harassed her so much. She left you because you were so paranoid and frightened. Hey! It's what you really want, isn't it? It's just what you really want. To forget about the monster and go on as before. To forget your contract. Lucas? Back off. Lucas. I said, back off. Huh? Because you're trying to drive me crazy, aren't you? That's what you're doing. Or at least you're trying to make me think that I'm crazy. You're trying to make me use my frailty to believe I did something that I wasn't even aware of. I know what I did and didn't do.
Mom, I can't do it. Keep trying, sweetheart. Don't give up. It's too difficult. You will make it. You're the best. You'll always be the best. Now concentrate. I love you, Mom. I love you too, but you'll have to do much better. You said you seen a man with an orange uniform? What happened to your hand? Oh, it's an injury from when I was a child. All right, just wait a minute. Down. You need to get some rest, okay? We're gonna take you home. But don't leave town. I still have got some questions for you.
I did and didn't do. So, huh? How did I kill my mother? Asleep. Back off. I've been waiting for this moment to come. Now you're ready to face life. Thank you. 